Heating by means of radiators is developed in the 1970s. Radiator heating is a high temperature heating, which means you need a water temperature around 80 to 90 degrees to heat up the space with the radiators. The heat source for radiator heating can be, for instance, district heating or a gas boiler. Radiating heating is used everywhere around you, in your house, in offices, hotels, shops and so on. The system is very simple. The heat source on primary side will provide the heat to the heat exchanger, which separates the heat source and the radiator loop, which is on the secondary side. The radiator loop needs around 80 degrees Celsius. All is regulated with a control unit, which measures the demand of the radiator loop and regulates the control valve on primary side. When you have a gas boiler, for instance in your house, the system is the same. The heat exchanger shown here is in the boiler itself and works the same. For bigger systems, or when district heating is the heat source, you will find a system like this. The temperature on the primary sites depends on the heat source and regional differences. The radiator system consists of one of the two following systems. A one pipe system. This system was developed and used a lot in the 70s and the 80s. There is only one pipe which comes into the radiator, goes out and the outgoing pipe from radiator 1 is the ingoing pipe of radiator 2. And so on, and so on. The temperature is decreasing with distance from the heat source. Therefore the radiator area must increase to compensate the lower temperature at the end. Before the 70s we had another system, the two-pipe system. Nowadays this system is used again as we are looking for more energy-friendly systems. All radiators can be the same size as the ingoing temperature is the same in all radiators. There is an ingoing pipe and an outgoing pipe which is connected with the heat source or heat exchanger as shown before. The use of the kind of system is important for the installer to know, as the capacity of the radiator and the capacity of the heat exchanger depends on it. We use a gasket plate heat exchanger when the water can be fouled, for instance when chalk or something else is in the water. This gasketed plate heat exchanger is openable and can be cleaned easily. We also used copper braced heat exchangers for this kind of systems. This unit is more compact, has a smaller footprint, is a cost effective solution and our range is optimized for HVAC applications. The water, however, must not be fouled and must be clean. Cleaning of this unit is possible when you rinse it with water. Space heating has slow load changes which gives low risk of thermal and mechanical fatigue.